While you were debating Apple's move to build its own GPUs, you might have missed a real-life Iron Man, NASA's next-gen robotic developments, and entirely edible geodes. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we can say with 100% certainty that the only good thing to come out of April Fool's Day this year was the new Rick and Morty episode. We've got adventures to go on, Morty. Just you and me. And sometimes your sister and sometimes your mom. Wubba lubba dub dub. Some people might think that strapping six kerosene-powered microjets to your arms is crazy, but none of those people are Richard Browning. The British inventor recently took flight thanks to his Daedalus jetpack prototype, which is designed for safety. Each motor produces roughly 46 pounds of force in order to propel the wearer forward at a walking speed, and at no more than 6 to 10 feet off the ground. Browning has recently upgraded the system with a heads-up display to report fuel levels, with the eventual goal being to build a suit that could be useful for rescue or military personnel. So Tony Stark can probably retire now. Kill power. In even more out-of-this-world news, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is working on robotic rovers that can traverse frozen planets and moons such as Europa or Titan. While scientists are particularly excited to explore subsurface oceans, the technology just isn't there yet. So naturally, they're building it. It being a thermally insulated device that uses heat source plutonium to work through the frozen crust of a planet. Such a device would be a step up from the current melt probes, which radiate heat in order to bore through ice. NASA is also working on grippers, essentially foldable boom arms which can reach objects up to 30 feet away, and a projectile launcher that can propel an object up to 164 feet. We're not sure what the practical application is for that last one, but we still really want to see it in action. And if you were curious about what happens when culinary genius and geology collide, wonder no more! Giant chocolate and sugar geodes are here, and they are entirely edible. When we started the project, we knew it was going to take about five to six months, because you have to naturally grow the crystals inside of a chocolate egg. 